All right, that's ugly. If we were out Midwest, I would say that looks like tornado, but that's about as far as it'll probably come down here, I hope. But that is ugly. Little Floyd to start the morning. It's gonna be a good day. Hey gang, I know he looks way far away there. Uh, right back there. Mimi and Dalton are in an old, old park from the 1900s, 1910s. This is our first road trip. We are in a city about 50 miles south of Tampa. And uh, Mr. Dalton did some research on this and this whole park and all this area around all the houses and buildings are very old ground. So we're gonna be trying, uh, we're gonna be trying this today. Well, group, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is I just got three parts of a harmonica reed. And since it's a clean break, I'm assuming I did that myself. I already put the third part in my pouch. So we have found our first old thing here, a harmonica reed. But the bad news is it was seven to eight to nine inches deep down there. So, so the first good target, but it, it's really, really deep. All right. And of course, without a doubt, as I'm covering up my our deep harmonica reed hole, Mr. Dalton says he has a green coin. He looks like he's old. Yep, yeah, eight inches, seven inches deep. Oh, that's fat too. That's gonna might be an Indian. Nope, I see Lincoln. It's gotta be but, a weedy. Oh yeah, that thing's as green as can be. And it's worn thin, buddy. Okay, there it is. I can finally see it. That's a weedy, yeah. all right. And it is a weedy and it's extremely worn. It's not gonna surprise me if this has got a 191 or a 192 in front of it. 1920. Nice. Boom, 99 year old coin. That's what we came here for. Very deep, too. Yep. There was no VDI, Beautiful. it was just a high tone. Really? Yep. And you dug it? Yep. Wow. Okay. All right, gang, on my machine, I got a very deep 27, 28 here. Oh my God, what did you do? Dig your china? That's silver, yes. You think so? Absolutely. I haven't picked it up yet. Go ahead. And... Merc. Merc. Nice. And it was deep, too, gang. You can see all the roots I had to go under there. Oh. Here, I got the food with me. Oh, I haven't had a Merc in a while, gang. There's that 20, early? 20, 25. 25. Huh. It's gonna clean up nice. No mint, but. 1925 Merc, gang. Way down there under a bunch of roots I had to chop through. Yeah, six inches. Nice. Okay, it was a it was a very faint 27, 28. 27 is usually a, a silver dime for the Knox. Hey, the trip was worth it. Boom. 99-year-old Weedy and a, well, 94-year-old Merc. I'll take that. Nice. I'm a happy guy. Mr. Dalton says he might have silver over here. So we'll come over and see what he's got. Ooh, it's like a little pin. Look at the front. Oh, look at that design, folks. All right, hang on, I got my toothbrush. I left in the back, I thought it was a safety pin for a minute. Boom, it's got writing right there. Mr. Sterling right there, nice. sir. Nice. Very nice. Beautiful flower pattern. I wonder what that's off of. I thought originally it was gonna be like a military uh, decoration. But that's not, that's that's definitely civilian. It's probably just a woman's decorative. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to break it. Sterling right there, sir. Boom. Very Thank nice. You. I'm going to go put it in the truck. Probably not a bad idea. Dalton says he has another good find over here. What's that? Is that a token? No, nope, but closer. Oh, it's a buffalo. Yeah. I thought it was a silver war nickel. Boy, that buffalo's in nice shape, too. I haven't looked at the front. Uh, I don't see a mint mark on the back, but it is clean. My, 
my buffalo was rough on the front too that I got the other day. Uh, Looks like we could get a date. Absolutely. Holy crap, it's the same year as mine. I think that's a 1916, sir. It is. Boom. 103 year old nickel yeah. there, gang. Nice. I gotta let it focus. Okay. Well, I can see it from here. Oh, there we go. Nice focus right there. 103 year old buffalo, guys. We are on a roll now. Well, Mr. Dalton's staying over here in his little hot spot area where he's gotten his little silver uh, piece of jewelry and then his buffalo. And now he just gave me the signal for Indian. So he's obviously found his own little hot spot here. So, yeah, Rob started off fast and hot. Now Mr. Dalton's taking over and he says it's a one wiper. One wiper. And it's black, but I can see it. Boy, did you get down through them roots? Yep. Guys, we're having to work for these today. These coins are deep here in this old park. Oh, she looks beautiful. 1900, zero, zero, sir. Right. I'll take it. Another 100 year old coin. So that's four coins, 95 years and older. And, gang, she's in really nice shape. Now, United States of America, very plain. Oh, look at the back. It's even better. Oh, that. Uh, that shield up there has even got the horizontal lines. That is just so nice. One nine zero zero. That phone's giving me a nice focus today in the shade. Beautiful, sir. Boom. Low twenty signal. Nice. Hey gang, I got a twenty six signal here, and as you can see, I've been working through these roots for a long time. It was uh, five six inches down, but I had to get through all the roots. But I have been rewarded with. My second Mercury of the day, and I have not done that often. Oh, she's clean. Nice. That's in the really like 40s. Or just because it's a nice shape. I think it's 41. 41. 41. And that is clean too, gang. That is in really nice shape. That might have been dropped right after they got it. That's in super nice shape. Eight inches down? About six, seven inches down, yeah. Underneath the roots. Now, what would be the monetary value on that? Oh, that? Less than two bucks. Like Unless it's pretty good people. It's probably been close to, if not over half an hour since. Uh, my second uh, Merck find, Jefferson's or Dalton's way right there. And I just got a nickel signal here, gang, but it wasn't real deep. But it's a Jefferson, and it'll qualify as uh, to be on the coin table for the competition table. It's a 1960, so it's pre 64. So that'll work. It's not as good as a Buffalo, but you know. And gang, in an attempt to keep up with Mr. Dalton, I just gave him the Indian head signal. I had a 17, 18, 19 signal down here, very deep. Yep, about six, seven inches. And it looks pretty white. It doesn't look as nice as his, but I don't really care. Oh yeah, that's wiped. But I can see the Indian head. Oh yeah, this baby's super wiped. See if we can get a date off of it. 1800s? I don't know yet. Well, that looks old. I may have just tied my oldest coin. Really? It's either 1884 or 1888, I think. It's wiped, isn't it? 1884. Boom! I just tied my oldest coin. Which, by the way, folks, I know this is going to surprise absolutely nobody when I say this, but I can't find it. 1884. A, yeah, it's not as good a shape as my other 84. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow, we just pulled 1800s out of a park. Out of a park, people. And look, we're the only people in this big, beautiful county park. We're the only people. Well, we've had a few homeless people, too, but... Wow, it's white, but 1884. Yes, sir, I can see it now. Wow. 
this is the first good coin we found it was first find we've had since the mercury dime it's been over probably what half hour 45 minutes yeah at least Alrighty, gang it's almost lunchtime. we're probably gonna be going to lunch soon all right silver two silvers and an indian i don't even have a weedy yet gang but that's fine boom hey guys we just came back from lunch mr dalton's walking behind me there he's heading to an area he thinks is going to be another good spot and we just got back from lunch and gang there's my first dig okay i got a bouncy 19 20 21 signal and uh i missed it with my first hole there's the second hole and guys this pops out okay and uh, i bent it just enough to see the first mark the first mark says mexico which usually mexico is a place where you get a lot of sterling silver and then i bent it out enough to see that and that says sterling 925 mexico i have just gotten a i don't know if it's vintage or not but i have just got a mexican bracelet with designs on it nice that's my biggest piece of jewelry i've ever found silver first hole after lunch gang so now me and dalton both have sterling jewelry today oh this has been a really good day gang all right guys we've been digging since lunch over an hour i've got nothing but clad except for my one silver uh mexico bracelet mr dalton says he has a nickel and now he's telling me it's a v nickel why because he's mr slob i can't call him silver whisperer today because he's finding oh my are you serious that just came out yeah oh my god that looks like it was minted yesterday are you serious you got that just got that there right here dalton that's cleaner than a buffalo Is that guy actually on that property doing that? Yeah. Oh my God, that is absolutely gorgeous. That is flipping gorgeous. All right, let's head over there. Hey good people, here is our board today. It's actually gonna be a pretty fast wrap up. There's my first find of the day that wasn't clad. My three pieces of a broken harmonica reed. All my clad. My two Mercs, 1925 and 1941. The 41's in really, really nice condition. Super nice on the back. Uh, my find of the day, an 1884 Indian head penny. My oldest penny, well my oldest coin, I tied it. I've got another 1884 Indian. And then a 60 nickel. And then my silver jewelry, stamped Sterling 925 from Tampico, Mexico. Very cool. I'll try and have my jeweler clean that up. And then Mr. Dalton's find, some shotgun head stamp. This is actually the pipe wrench from the Clue game. We looked it up. Very cool. And he killed it with coins today, gang. He got a 1920 Weedy, a 1958 Weedy, a 1900 Indian head that is just absolutely gorgeous all the lines the the horizontal and the vertical lines in the shield are just perfect and then he got a 1916 buffalo that's pretty chewy but that date is as clear as can be on there 1916 and then this outstandingly beautiful 1912 liberty that we got just as we got kicked out of the park by the cops which will be a long story after this uh wrap up we had every right to be metal detecting there but it's a long story with that beautiful v nickel and then mr dalton's vintage piece of sterling some little i don't know if that's a brooch or some type of pin that a uh lady wore for a formal setting or something we were across the street from an old high school but it says sterling and so we both got silver jewelry today mr dalton didn't get any silver coins but he kicked butt on just about every other coin that you could get he got 27 clad, I got 29, so we were both about even. Alrighty guys, there'll be an explanation of our visit to City Hall after we left the uh, park with the police officer. Okay. Hey good people, I'll try and explain real quick what happened after we followed the police sergeant over to City Hall. Obviously I couldn't film inside of there, but um, once inside we got a copy of the city ordinances. 
And then um, nowhere, Dalton was correct in his research, nowhere in the city ordinances does it say that we cannot metal detect in this city. So they gave us a printout of that. And then just so happens the director of the parks came in and said, I saw you guys out there, but I was in my personal vehicle, so I didn't say nothing to you. And I'm like, okay, what's he doing driving around in his personal vehicle? But anyway, he says, no, there's no rule against uh, metal detecting, but we have a rule against digging dirt. I said, what? And he goes, yeah, there's an ordinance in the city parks that you can't disturb any of the ground, pine straw, grass, dirt, plants. You can't put a shovel in the ground in City Hall. And that's how they get around by not having an explicit metal detecting rule because you can sweep the grounds all you want for surface coins they won't stop you with a metal detector but you can't put a shovel in the ground now i read their ordinances that's mainly for homeless people um to put in tent stakes and stuff like that to try and squat on public land but they use it for cases like this to keep out the metal detectors and then the guy says well you don't put the dirt back tight and it makes a little depression and little kids can fall in there and injured and get we get sued and i go well, what about the opposite when we're taking all the all the metal and the glass out? Well, anyway, he went into the mayor's office and told him about us. And I got a little upset that he was able to uh, badmouth the uh, hobby without me getting it. So I uh, I requested a meeting with the mayor right then after he got out. And his her secretary said, you'll have to make an appointment. And I said, no. He just went in there and saw her. Well, he's a department head. I said, I really don't care who he is. If he can go in there and downgrade metal detecting, I want to stick up for metal detecting. And eventually I made enough of a ruckus out in her office that she came out, was rather perturbed that she had to deal with me, and started lecturing me, and stuck her finger in my face and started wagging it, telling me what was what, and I told her she better get her finger out of my face, or, uh, or this was going to go public. And um, she calmed down then, but basically backed up her uh, public parks director and said, no digging in city parks. So... They were very unfriendly towards Dalton and I. The mayor was extremely rude. And uh, the nicest person out of the whole deal was the police sergeant that, uh, that stopped us in the park. And that's how that went.